Hey! Hi. So, uh, what's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Well, uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here. And set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together. Uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> You want to go back to Sandini? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect it. That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperados on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir, or a gang of pilgrims, or something. Whatever you say. We're a bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump, sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, the old hag. Oh. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. Síganme y manténganse cerca. aquí. You know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellers Bronte pointed out to us? At the party in San Denis? Yeah, you're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. So did you deal with those workers for Herr Cool yet? Not yet. I will. But you don't think he's just using us? Almost certainly, but we don't have a lot of choice. He's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Nor am I quite, but that many Pinkertons arriving like clockwork once again? The door is stopped. You'll have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <clears throat> just a... just a bit more. <clears throat> what a thing. Better do it well. This way. See, 
then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No matter what. So how did you know she was gonna betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. <laughs> Are you gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. You. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? No. Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso no fue para tanto. Así que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. Bueno, ha sido un placer. Siempre me encantaron los mexicanos. ¡Vamos! ¡Vamos, carajo! We're going to have to sneak around. This way. They're all listening to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. So much for the count to three. Okay, let's hide the bodies. You grab that one. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Let's go in there. Bye. Well, you know me, Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. Take the other side of this door. Ni es una civilización, un país civilizado. Me podría costar mujeres que usan zapatos. ¿Tienes algo de tomar? ¿Cómo sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí, escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay. You take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Over here. Oh. 
Okay. Now we need to create a diversion. Oh, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff up. <laughs> exactly. Is there any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no problem. You'll see. <laughs> Go close the windows and the doors. Go on, quick. <laughs> There ain't enough dust. This place will go. Okay. We are nearly there. Kindling. <clears throat> All right, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. We'd better hurry. Follow me. Okay. I don't want to be too close to that building when it goes up. Come on. We can hide behind that well. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier.